I am delighted to have this opportunity to talk about Elizabeth Hughes, although very, very sorry that she'll be leaving the law school. She's been an amazing assistant dean, helping students 24-7, and I know there's some who've told me they wouldn't have made it through law school, but for her. She's also a great teacher. I understand she walked into a room once and got a standing ovation, not something the rest of us can claim, I think. She's a caring, compassionate, ethical, hard-working person, and above all, she become a dear, dear friend to me. One of the first requests I remember we got when I became Associate Dean was from some male students uh, about putting uh, some urinal pucks uh, in the men's washroom. And I'm not making this up. Um, and Elizabeth came to me with this, and I had to convince her that, no, uh, the male students were not playing hockey in the, male, in the men's washroom. Um, but seriously though, Elizabeth, it's, it's been a great run. Um, we're going to really, really miss you. Elizabeth has really helped me manage uh, the confidence issues that come up in law school um, in ways that you didn't expect. Um, and she has um, helped me find uh, my voice in some of the roles that I've taken on. Time and time again when I listen to students um, talk about what they like about this place, very often they tell a story about an individual who's made a difference, faculty, staff, whatever, and your name comes up a lot as somebody who really has made a difference to our students. So I want to take this opportunity to say a very heartfelt thank you for everything you've done and everything you've given to the students and to this place, to this community, and to wish you the very best of luck. I first knew Elizabeth uh, as a student. Uh, I think she took a couple of classes of mine. I can recall her sitting in the third row centrally and regularly attending and participating. And uh, uh, my good feelings for her go all the way back to that. And, and uh, just sad that she's going to be pressing on. I'm particularly grateful to her for the work she's done uh, behind the scenes with the students who are under a lot of stress. The, the fact that she does it so well, both sympathetically as a caregiver, but also attending very meticulously to the regulations around that makes it uh, a lot easier for those of us who have to go into the classroom who know that our students have got, in many cases, turmoil and crises in their personal lives. My dear, dear Elizabeth, I am so grateful to have had the opportunity to work with you for all these years that you've been here at the law school. You have touched so many lives during your time here including my own. I'm sad to see you leave, but I'm sadder for all the future Schulich Law students who will not have the opportunity to meet you or to have been taught by you. You and I have shared much laughter, many tears. I do not consider you just my colleague. I also consider you my mentor, my confidant, and my personal shopper at times. I will miss you, but I wish you nothing but the most success and happiness. As a provider of counseling services for troubled students, you have a well-earned reputation for your availability, your sincerity, your problem-solving prowess, and your compassion. You are no prima donna. Refreshingly, you are quite the opposite. Humble, self-effacing, never looking for recognition no matter how much you deserve it, never showing even a glimmer of entitlement. In terms of your personal and professional integrity, you are truly at an elite level. As a friend, you have delivered your counseling services to me as well as we worked our way through our parenting dilemmas. So I am really going to miss you, as will our colleagues. Most importantly, our students will no longer enjoy the full range of your competency and caring. Elizabeth, we wish you all the best. This is the next step on the journey. I know you're going to shine a bright light wherever you are. We'll keep in touch. Thank you, Elizabeth. I love you, girl. With apologies to Roy Orbison and K.D. Lang, this was our collective reaction after we learned about your imminent departure. Oh, you wished us well, you couldn't tell that we'd been crying.
over you, crying over you.